I'm Cody Miller, Precision Farming Specialist with Sadursky Equipment. On the videos you're about to view, you're going to be able to see our Gen 2, Gen 3 displays from Precision Planning, some setup information, as well as some different products that Precision has, how to set them up and make them perform the best for your, your farming operation. On our Gen 3 2020, in order to set up a planner, we're going to go over how to show or show you how to do that. So we're going to hit setup on the bottom right here, and then on this page on the right hand side is going to be our planner information. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, and this is where we're going to tell it what type of uh, make, rows, spacing, and all of that. So you just go in here and whatever type of brand planner you have, you're going to be able to pick that, and then how many rows are spacing. Active rows, that should be set to all. Uh, the only time that that is going to be different is if we have an inner plant planner and then we're going to have the uh, bean rows active or, or unactive as far as if you're planting beans or not. Um, controlled spacing, that's going to be set at 30 inches most of the time and then our width is also 30 inches. Uh, so once we have that set up, we're going to go to the back here and then under the equipment tab on the right hand side, this is where we can add all of our different systems that we have here. So we're going to go under seeding here and we can tell it if it's got V drive or if it's going to be uh, monitor only if we have a ground drive or hydraulic drives, uh, V set select or M set, as well as what type of seed sensor. Uh, this is also where you're going to tie in speed tube if you have that. And then the meter type is also going to be set here. Uh, downforce, uh, for if we have a system with delta force on it, we have to tell what type of pins we're, we're controlling on there. Uh, under the liquid tab, this is where we can add all of our liquid products that we would be either monitoring or controlling. Soil sensing is going to be our smart firmer. Uh, if we have them, we can add them. And then on add system here, if you have any other type of systems on there from precision planning, we can tie them to that. So under closing, if we add that, we can add a product and that is going to be closing. Um, so that would be for a product like furrow force. Once we have that initial setup done, we have to go back into the systems tab here and then we actually have to set up each individual product and assign what rows, what modules are on to it. So for each product you have to go through, assign the different uh, modules that are tied to each row. Uh, once that is set up, uh, the planter should be set up and ready to plant for this upcoming season.